Well, Merry Christmas Eve to all of you. You know, this past June, our family visited Bethlehem, Pennsylvania, as part of our tour through the state. We were only there for one night, but in the time we were there, we saw the enormous steel stacks, the 120-acre development that was previously run by Bethlehem Steel. It was an amazing sight. The population of Bethlehem, Pennsylvania is roughly the same as the population of, of Rock Hill. And a number of famous people are from Bethlehem, including Jonathan Taylor Thomas, the kid on the hit 90s show Home Improvement, uh, Mario Andretti, the famous race car driver, and Dwayne Johnson, AKA The Rock, who played football at Bethlehem High School before going on to play football at the University of Miami and then becoming a movie star. Of course, Bethlehem, Pennsylvania is not the same Bethlehem that we read about in Luke's Gospel. In Luke chapter 2, verse 15, it says, When the angels went away from them into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let us go over to Bethlehem and see this thing that has happened, which the Lord has made known to us. In that Bethlehem, some 5,700 miles from Pennsylvania, Jesus was born, and the shepherds went to see him. And since that day, there have been many places named Bethlehem. In fact, in the United States, there are 18 different cities named Bethlehem and 11 more globally. And of course, there are countless churches that have that same name. Bethlehem means house of bread. And in John's gospel, Jesus describes himself as the bread of life. So might we say that every time we do as the shepherds and, and come to church to worship, we are coming to Bethlehem. For it's here that we're nourished not only by the natural bread, but as Deuteronomy says, we are nourished by every word that comes from the mouth of the Lord. I do pray that sometime today that you will find a moment to remember what happened in Bethlehem so, so long ago. And I certainly invite you to Christmas Eve communion and candlelight service tonight at 5.30 p.m. May Christ be born anew in each of you. Have a wonderful Christmas.